Hello and welcome back to all my dear students and friends. I am Rabinshu Sharma, Assistant Professor in Department of Journalism and Mass Communication of Babu Banasi Das University, Lucknow. So, friends, in my last video, I have discussed with you about the radio interview, about the structure of the interview, about the component of the interview, and the various other things. So, I hope you must have liked that video and you must have got a lot of new things about the radio interview, how to take interview, how to plan a proper radio interview. So, now today in this video, I'll be talking to you about the microphone. Yeah, microphone is a very essential part of the radio entire thing because if you do not have a proper microphone, the production phase that is you cannot record a proper voice then this if even if you have a very good message with you but if you do not have a mic and if you have not selected a proper microphone as per your requirement and need then it will be of no use to te like telecast broadcast your radio program or uh, in a proper way so the, the mic selecting a microphone and this is a very important part uh, of this entire radio thing. So in today's video, we will be talking to you about the about the microphone, about the selection of the microphone, about the types of microphones that are available, uh, placement of the microphone, what is the proper distance that you need to maintain to record a program, what is the proximity effect, what is the selection and the placement of the microphone for the specific purpose. There are various different types of programs that are recorded in the, in the radio. So what are those uh, selection and the placement of the microphone? Uh, if you are recording indoor uh, program like in the radio studio or if you are recording the outdoor like radio studio uh, program. So what are things that you need to keep in mind for uh, recording regard for recording those program. So we will be discussing all those things in this today's video. So let's start uh, the today's video. Uh, selection and the placement of a microphone. The content today will be discussed uh, that will be microphone, selection of uh, microphone, types of microphone, placement of microphone, proximity effect, selection and the placement of microphone for specific purpose, consideration in outdoor and indoor place. And also we will be discussing a lot of frequently asked questions that we that the questions that come to our mind so we'll be discussing that also so let's start with the microphone uh, initially uh, you all must know what is microphone uh, exactly what is the proper definition of the microphone for exam purpose also it is very important you need to learn these uh, definitions and you need to learn these definitions by heart so what is microphone uh, microphone is a device that converts sound into an electrical signal. This is the important short and crisp definition of the microphone that you can say. Uh, it can. It is a device that converts sound into electrical waves. When you need say something, it's a, vi a vibration produced in that and that converts the sound into the electrical signal. Microphones are used in many applications uh, such as the telephones. Uh, we have telephone recorders with us. We have cell phones in that also we, there's a small microphone chip is there. Uh, if we talk about the tape recorders, uh, when we dub the record voice, when we record the voice, we dub the things. So tape recorders also have the microphone. We can uh, record our own voice in that. So tape recorders also have the microphone. Hearing aids, uh, hearing aids that, that people use for the hearing uh, purpose, then that also have the microphones. Motion picture production, that also have a microphone. Live and the recorded audio engineering, that has a microphone. Megaphones, okay, microphone. In radio and television broadcasting and in computers for recording voice and speech recognition. Right now, I am recording this video lecture on my laptop. So I do I, I have I do not have a proper mic with me right now. But the laptop which is uh, which I am using for this uh, recording this video lecture that has an inbuilt microphone in that. Or if we are, if I am using some external microphone in that case, that also has a microphone. Uh, we generally use the earphones uh, to listen to music or to 
pro attend a call like that's uh, that we say hands free that also has the microphone so these uh, microphones can be found in various places so and for the speech recognition also it has the microphone that converts uh, speech into the text like uh, other things also so these have microphones most uh, microphones if we talk about today this time today use dynamic microphone condenser microphone and light modulation to produce an electrical voltage signal from mechanical vibration generally what happens uh, when i say hello hi hi mic test hi hi so when i say from my vocal cord this vibration mechanical vibration happens and when i speak words out of my mouth then that vibration goes to the microphone and that produces the electrical voltage signal from that mechanical vibration that i am saying if you keep your fingers on your neck you say hello hi test so you'll feel some vibrations on this trachea it's called of the this uh, neck so you'll feel some vibration so that mechanical vibration converts and produces the electrical voltage signal from that uh, so it's very important to select a microphone as per your program as per your need demand so selection of microphone is very important so we have uh, types of microphones on the basis of construction and on the basis of directionality and sensitivity so we keep, we have a lot of microphones but uh, we have categorized those microphones uh, on the basis of two categories that is on the basis of construction that is on the basis of their make how they are made like so this is uh, and secondly we have uh, classified the microphone on the basis of the direction and their sensitivity about how they catch the voice and from which direction so a lot of microphones uh, categorized on the basis of two major categories so let's see next uh, this first category uh, this uh, microphone on the basis of construction we have the first microphone that is dynamic microphone the second microphone is ribbon microphone the third is condenser microphone the fourth microphone is electric microphone the fifth one is carbon microphone the sixth one is piezoelectric microphone seventh one is laser microphone the eighth one is lapel or lavalier microphone so these eight microphone four four eight yeah these eight microphones we have these all eight microphones are on the basis of their construction or on the basis of their make uh, now we have these uh, four four eight nine nine microphones we have so these are the microphones which are on the basis of directionality and sensitivity this is again a very important thing to choose type of microphone for your as per your program uh the first uh, one is uh, omni direction microphone the second one is bi directional microphone the third one is uni direction microphone the fourth one is cardioid the fifth one is super cardioid cardioid microphone the next one is hyper cardioid microphone next is sub cardioid microphone h1 is short gun microphone and the last one is long gun microphone so these are the microphone nine microphones these are uh, categorized on the basis of their direction how they catch the voice like one way two side and all side and on the basis of the sensitivity how sensitive they are and how what is the pattern of the uh, graph the sound when they catch the mic, mic sound how in the pattern of that it, these are the nine mics that are categorized so we'll discuss each and every microphone in the next coming slide like we have been discussing these eight mics dynamic ribbon lapel all on the basis of their construction and we'll be also discussing about each and every microphone and their uses and their purposes in the next slide so let's start uh, yeah one more thing the selection of microphone is very important uh, because a microphone is a piece of gear closest to the to the source because i have said now if you have a very good script if it has a very good humor it has a very good emotional connect and everything but if you do not have a proper microphone then all things are zero 
so selecting a microphone is very important uh, because a microphone is a piece of gear closest to the source it stands to reason that selecting the right tool for the job can make the work easy so if you see if you see overall uh, there are three types of microphone the dynamic condenser and the pickup pattern in short if we see there are three types of uh, microphone dynamic condenser and the pickup pattern so let's start with the dynamic microphone and we'll discuss the all the eight microphones on the basis of the constructions and we'll discuss later nine microphones on the basis of their directionality and the sensitivity so let's start with the dynamic microphone a uh, dynamic microphone has a uh, design something like this uh, so you can see is a mic on the back and the front one where we speak we say there's something like uh, you can see it's a magnet over there uh, and the magnet uh, in the bottom uh, center it has a coil uh, and on there is a signal out and in the bottom you can see, see there's a cone and the sound waves these are the sound waves when we say when you hold the mic and say hi hello these this wave from the mechanical vibration from our mouth this goes into the mic that is some sound wave you can say and in the outer side is a diaphragm this is the diaphragm and inside there is a magnet and a coil so this is some structure of the dynamic uh, microphone you see dynamic microphones are versatile and ideal for general purpose use they use simple design as we have seen with few moving parts they also they are also better suited to handle high volume level uh, such as from certain musical instrument or from amplifiers they have no internal amplifier and do not require batteries or external power yeah you can say it is it has the pros and the cons both uh, if it is plus point it has the it, is, it, 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 it do not it do not need any external uh, battery or the external power but uh, if it is the plus point it do not have the negative point it do not have the uh, amplifier in build the advantage of the microphone uh, this uh, my dynamic microphone are their relatively low cost and high durability you can if you, if you look the mic for the durability for the long run you can use this microphone these are rough and tough use like if you fall on the ground also they do not get get damaged easily and cost of this microphone is very cheap and the lack of uh, power supply like you need need do not need more power to supply for this microphones the lack of uh, need of the power supply is there the main element commonly exist of a plastic film that from that i have shown you here this is plastic diaphragm and uh, plastic film diaphragm connected uh, to a coil coil of a wire that is suspended in a permanent magnetic field because it is a magnet you can see and the coil is suspended in the permanent magnet over there so this is the entire u shape you can see it's a magnet and this coil suspended inside it so it's create a good permanent magnetic field once sound hits the diaphragm hi hello this the whole assembly moves to create small electric current it has i have already discussed that uh, this is for the general use purpose and suited for the high volume level because it the instrument the part is moving so it it has few moving moving parts that's why it is able to bear a uh, high volume levels because when we throw high volume voice in there so so it generally moves that part and once sound hits diaphragm whole assembly moves and create electric current so this is the usp of this microphone you can say coming to the next mic that is condenser microphone how the condenser microphone looks like see the condenser microphone looks something like this this condenser microphone uh, has again we throw the sound waves this is, here you can see sound waves are going inside it and the front plate this is again a diaphragm that is, it was in uh, like earlier mic dynamic microphone that i have used so this here the condenser diaphragm is a little different uh, this is a back plate behind this diaphragm this is a back plate 
and if you see in the back side there's a small battery it's in the golden yellow color so this is a battery and but uh, this does not have any like magnetic thing here like, you know or like like coil right now you can can't see any coil here the output signals are this is the output signal so this is a small diagram to give you idea about the condenser microphone so the condenser means capacitor uh, generally this is a very common term the condenser we see capacity is a capacitor capacitors are also there on the on the electronic uh, pcbs uh, this condensers are also used in the fans of our room so this is a very common thing the condenser it also it means capacitor basically so an electronic component which stores energy in the form of electrostatic field so we will don't go lot lot more into the physics so so this is electrostatic field it uh, creates so condenser is a basically a device electronic component which stores energy in the form of electrostatic field the term condenser is actually obsolete because nowadays uh, we say capacitor earlier we used to say condenser condenser so this term condenser is actually obsolete nowadays but has stuck as the name of this type of microphone uh, which uses a capacitor basically to convert acoustic energy into electrical energy acoustic energy that has to deal with the sound or the sense or the vocal thing so that is acoustic that i have already discussed in my few videos back so acoustic energy uh, that converts the sound energy into the electrical energy this is the main purpose of the microphone let it be any kind of microphone the major purpose of the microphone is to convert these uh, electrical the wave uh, mechanical energy wave energy sound wave energy into the electrical energy so this capacitor converts the acoustic energy into the electrical energy uh, the condenser microphone require power from battery or external source this is again is requires uh, power the external source uh, the resulting audio signal is a stronger signal than that of dynamic because in dynamic microphone this does not have any external power supply or it does not use any kind of battery or cell so obviously this resulting audio signals will be obviously it will be having a stronger signal than the dynamic Condenser also tend to be more sensitive and uh, responsible, responsive than dynamic. If you compare this with the dynamic one, dynamic has a moving parts and it has other thing structure. It has a coil, it has a magnet. So to make this a little different uh, if you talk about the uh, dynamic microphone. But in the condenser microphone, uh, they also tend to be more sensitive and responsive than dynamic. making them well suited uh, to capturing suitable noise in the sound so this is uh, if you say it's up, uh, it's not ideal like they are not ideal for the high volume work because the sensitivity is more so obviously they will catch the noise uh, if a uh, small fan is working in the room or if a uh, small uh, ambience is there in the room or outside the room the room studio is not soundproof so obviously it will catch the sound those little ambient sound all around because sensitivity of this is very good so it is somewhere the uh, drawback of this microphone so this the sensitivity make them prone to distort and this will uh, make the problem in your mic and your recording sometimes it catches the system noise Gen generally it happens very less but sometimes it catches the system noise and uh, this is so in this ribbon microphone let's see now the, this next microphone that is a ribbon microphone uh, this is the third one that uh, microphone so these microphones uh, own has no diaphragm or coil you can say it is ideal for soft sound uh, it has disadvantage its disadvantage is if the source is too loud the contact of the ribbon break so basically it works on the ribbon and um, so if you the loud is this voice is more loud then the contact of the ribbon gets break automatically so this is one of the drawback this advantage it required favorable weather condition to function properly this is also one of the uh, big drawback of the microphone 
uh, person, person who is there going to record the mic a voice he is not she is not going to look out the weather look out about the weather he just have to look concentrate on the work so this is a, this uh, it requires favorable weather condition to work properly coming to the next one that is electric condenser a microphone this electric condenser microphone uh, it has the frequency response uh, frequency response less than condenser microphone if you compare this uh, with the condenser microphone that i have uh, told about earlier so if you talk if you compare the frequency of the more both microphone the, the frequency response is still less than the condenser uh, microphone but more than the dynamic one dynamic so from the dynamic the frequency is more but it has the less so you can say this the mid middle of in the middle of the condenser and the dynamic microphone electric condenser microphones are in the middle range it consists of a permanent charge in an electric material uh, its frequency quality is not that good so this is the one of the drawback you can say of Coming to the next one, that is carbon microphone. Uh, the carbon microphone, this uh, sensitivity is uh, less and they are inferior in sound quality. Uh, the frequency response is uh, very low. It ranges uh, from 600 hertz and ends go to the maximum that range that is 3 kilohertz. So the frequency response is very low. And they are inferior, it has an inferior sound quality and less sensitivity. But still, these microphones are used by the people. Next, we have uh, piezo electronic, uh, elect piezo electric microphone. So, these microphones are generally called crystal microphones. The name is uh, piezo electric microphone, and people generally say it's crystal microphone. Uh, it can be used for the soft sound. From the name it's there, it's crystal. So, crystal we are using for the soft thing, just opposite one. So you can remember with that, it can be used for the soft sound. And it also has, it is also known as crystal microphone. If you talk about the bandwidth of this uh, frequency, you can say it's uh, between the 15 hertz to 15 kilohertz. It can not go up to even 20 kilohertz. So, that is uh, like you can. Can get the idea and compare with the carbon microphone that goes maximum to 3 kilohertz and it is going to the 15 kilohertz. So obviously, its bandwidth speed is, frequency is better than the this carbon microphone but uh, cannot go up to 20 kilohertz of sound. Its temperature range is 19 degree centigrade and to 24 degree centigrade, which is again a disadvantage because right now, if you see it, temperature is more than 24. It's in the month of uh, July, August, so obviously the temperature is more than 24. So again, it needs a proper weather condition to work properly. So weather condition is again a disadvantage in the piezoelectric uh, electron, electric microphone. Coming to the next one, that is lapel, or you can say it's also known as lavalier microphone. Lapel microphone or the lavalier microphone. This microphone is uh, battery operated. Uh, generally, we use these microphones in the recording studios, and uh, these are the most commonly and the, they are very cheap in the market. So, people generally purchase these microphones and they are easy to carry. They have the battery, you can insert the battery and you can use the microphone. It, it does not have a windscreen, that is again a plus point or a minus point also. For if you are using the microphone for the talk show recording studio, talk show recording, and if you have to take the walk, the kind of vox pop for your program, you need to take interview or you need to do P two C. Generally, people carry the small this microphone, little microphone. It has a small wire. You can roll the wire and keep in the pocket, and you can use the three point five mm jack and the converters to use that mic even in your cell phones also or in the laptops or in the uh, cameras also you can use the mic on use the converter to record your radio program also so this is the battery operated and does not have a wind screen it can be transmitted and it is a personal microphone one can keep in a pocket and just move anywhere anytime so it's very easy to carry also this microphone. 
coming to the next one that is a laser microphone uh, a laser microphone uh, it's again comes under the category of the cell balance device uh, like uh, if you have to make if you want to spy something you want to spy video of something and you need a good quality of mic and laser microphone are there in those devices so like uh, so a laser microphone is a surveillance device that uses a laser beam to detect sound vibration in a distant object that has some distance and it is using uh, that laser to detect the sound vibration it can be used to eave eavesdrop with minimal chance of exposure and uh, the laser beam that is directed into the room through a window reflects off the object and return to a receiver that converts beam into an electrical signal audio signal so this uh, in earlier microphones the what happens the vibration that converts the mechanical movement that converts into the audio signals and but here in the laser microphone this beam is that converts the beam into an audio signal so this is the usp of this laser microphone so coming to the second uh, major category uh, where, where we have categorized all the microphones on the basic basis of their directionality and the sensitivity so the first uh, microphone that we have is unidirectional microphone again this unidirectional microphone is again a very famous uh, one that we have unidirectional microphone so it uh, picks up sound directly in front of the mics uh, this is useful when the sound source is at some distance from the camcorder like this uh, we have this mic and this we have sound source so if uh, it is at some distance so it picks a sound directly in front of the mic and if you see the word uni uni is one so it catches this sound from the one direction like if i have the mic with me and the it is the, the diaphragm is there the mic is sound wave is going this side so a person who is standing on the right side uh, if he say something the sound don't goes in the mic so it's unidirection catches a sound from the one direction mic is there you can see the graph so in this graph you can see the direction is pattern is it's like the red one its pattern is catching sound from this area only so it picks sound directly in front of the mic so coming to the next one that is bidirectional so here you can see is a mic in, cent in the center and the pattern that you can see uh, like two semicircles the curves are there it, it is in the pattern of eight like it is in the pattern of eight so the, the, here in, in the center it is a mic and it catches the voice from this side also and catches the voice from the other side also so it picks the up the sound to the side and the front of the microphone for example uh, right now, now, now like for example if i have this mic with me and you are saying you are sitting in front and you are saying some words from this side and i am saying some words from my side so here in the center i'll keep the mic and if you are recording the talk show there are two one by one face to face one by one conversation so in the center i'll keep the mic and it catches sound from the one side and from the other side so by means two by in earlier what we have discussed uni uni catches from the sound from the one direction and the by catches the sound from the other direction so it picks up the sound to the side and in front of the mic's head mostly uh, used in interviews uh, talk shows and the live shows also uh, when there are two people sitting front to front face to face uh, and in that cases the, the bidirectional uh, mics are generally used in, in that uh, case coming to the third one that is omni directional microphone again it's uh, here you can see is a mic in center and the green color circles uh, that tells us about the uh, pattern of the pickup pattern of this microphone it catches the sound from all around the area like the this catches the sound about that this, we talk about the ambient sound so this catches the ambient sound sound also for example if i have mic with me i am saying something and this car is passing through the road 
so it will record the horn of the car or the noise of the car or somebody is saying on the back side of the cameraman or then it will catch these all these sound 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 so this sound is useful for recording the ambient sound for the stock music or the stock sound effect so this omnidirectional mic uh, picks us up sound approaching the microphone from all directions why this is the most basic pattern of uh, the three and purest sound it is the least commonly used in the studio because in the studio there is only one rj or maybe two people for the talk show or maybe three maximum but in studio uh, if you use this omnidirectional microphone then the all around the sound will catch us cast that will cast and the entire recording will be like worst at the end of it so we need a unidirectional mic in the studio but in studio we never use this omnidirectional mic because that again that will be a big problem for us because it will record a sound from all around so considering this pattern when capturing choral groups and, and the like of a natural room ambience is the goal then in that case we use the only directional microphones because we when we record to record the uh, sound of the choral group choir we record the sound of group song choir song so we there are a lot of people and they say uh, synchronously the about the song they sing the song so we need the microphone that catches the all the voices in that one microphone so in that we use and sometimes uh, for the background music uh, for the film on the from the ambience uh, we purposely need to capture the uh, background music of the office or the background music of the uh, ambience of the railway station or the airport or the runway or the other place so we need purposely that sound in that case we use omni directional microphones coming to the next fourth one that is cardioid microphone cardioid microphone you here you can see the pattern of the cardioid microphone it's something like uh, like minus 60 db minus 55 and 50 45 40 35 and 30 decibels so this is the range you can see the circle is pattern is something like this so the cardioid microphones are the microphones that picks up sound with high gain from the front and side but poorly from the rear so this is the again you can say it's a good thing or the negative point both the this microphone picks with the high gain but from the front and the side so it's a microphone it catches the sound from the front and from the side but from the rear side do not uh, work good it's poor in catching the sound from the rear side it picks up a uh, sound with the high gain and or uh, sensitivity from the front and the side but steeply lower when sound are recorded from the rear like if i have a mic right now with me and i'm saying from the front side it's it will it's not good not a good one uh, because it's it's a steep pattern will be there in lower but it's good in catching the sound from the side one and it from the front it is good in catching the sound so these are the microphones sometimes people use for the purpose of now coming to the next one that is super cardioid microphone this is a form of the cardioid and it's a little bit modified version of the cardioid microphone you can see so super cardioid microphone the pattern of the sound wave like when it's something like a half eight and the bottom is a little small a super cardioid microphone has a very directional super cardioid pickup pattern it is a very it has a very directional it is most it is most sensitive to on access sound with the mic points with null points at 127 degree and 233 degree and a rear loop of sensitivity and you can pattern in this you can see it's 27 and 27 and 233 one a uh, super cardioid mics are popular in film uh, due to their high directionality they are very much uh, sensitive uh, to talk about their directional directions they are very much 
sensitive. So 127 and 223 in, in films recording, generally people use super cardioid microphones. Coming to the next one, that is uh, hyper cardioid microphone. Uh, hyper cardioid microphones against a polar pattern uh, name typically used to describe microphone pickup. A polar pattern, this name typically, typically used to describe microphones uh, pickup characteristics. In the graph, you can see it's uh, starting from minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, minus 25 dB, and it's a pattern. This is a super cardioid microphones are thus considered even more directional than the cardioid microphones. Why? Because they have less sensitivity at their sides and not slightly more direction, directly behind. So that's why they are even more directional with comparatively with the uh, cardioid microphone. So that's why the name is hyper, hyper cardioid microphones because they have uh, less sensitivity at their sides and only slightly more direction, direction, directly behind. Next is sub cardioid microphone. So again, the pattern of the sub cardioid microphone you can see is uh, circle this minus 5 to minus 25 uh, dB and the pattern of the circle is like this. Uh, Subcardioid uh, is also known as you can see wide cardioid microphone. It's also known as uh, wide cardioid microphone. Uh, its microphone has a polar pattern, polar pattern that which resembles uh, the midway point between the omnidirectional and the cardioid. So this is somewhere you can say the midway point between the uh, omnidirectional. Omnidirectional catches sound from the all side, and the cardioid has a pattern. From the it catches the sound from not from the rear but it catches from sound from the side and the front it is uh, unidirectional at most sensitive on to on access sound but will also pick up sound from every other direction with clarity through the with the less amplitude because the amplitude uh, in this microphone subcardioid is not good as compared with the unidirectional or the omnidirectional microphones. So this unidirectional microphone uh, on sensitive one axis, but it also pick up sound from the every direction. Coming to the next one, that is a shotgun microphone. The pattern of the shotgun microphone here you can see the graph is something like this: uh, small thin eight on the vertical and the horizontal. This is the polar pattern you can see here. The polar pattern is something like this. So a shotgun microphone has a lower polar pickup pattern. An extension of the super cardioid or hyper cardioid micro polar pattern. So this is the extended version of both the versions. Super cardioid and the hyper cardioid. The interfe interference, the inter interference tube are placed in front of the diaphragm to achieve extreme directionality because in shotgun they focus about the directions generally shotgun mics uh, generally people use for the shooting the short films and the documentaries to take the bikes and interview people generally use the shotgun mics uh, to, for that they make uh, sometimes they make the boom mic also by using the shotgun mics they are very cheap and they are very common in the market these uh, directionality mics uh, generally have a small side and rear loops of uh, sensitivity. Uh, interference tubes are placed in front of the diaphragm to achieve extreme directionality. And it is, uh, you can see, don't, then it don't scary, catches the sound from the all round. So ambient sound is cut or almost. Coming to the next one that is long gun microphone. This You can see it's something like uh, this long gun exceptionally low infer inherent self noise uh, and systematic uh, and symmetrical transducer technology ensures extremely low distortion so people use for the low distortion of the noise and is it as it has the symmetrical transducer technology A rug and the weatherproof one uh, this uh, weatherproof and this one, black and anodized light metal body so easy to use easy to carry 
So coming to the next slide, that is placement of microphone. Uh, how we place the microphone? This is again a very good, uh, important one. If we have decided uh, the microphone as per our program, as per our need. Now the next thing what comes is how we are placing that microphone. How we are using, keeping that microphone. See, the golden rule of microphone placement is get the right distance uh, as per your requirement and need. You need to know the direction, the distance. Like generally people say keep the distance. Like if you have the mic, don't keep the mic in front of your lips or the sound of the distortion comes. Or don't keep the mic in the very distance from your mouth. You need to say loud or you need to increase the frequency, the amplitude of the mic from the source. So uh, you need to maintain a proper distance of the mic where you are using mic and where you are using your voice. So in general, uh, place the microphone as close as practical to the sound source without getting so close that you introduce unwanted sound effect the hiss sound is generally a people's hi hello hi view all our things things that is the as his sound uh, you need to avoid that one there are some points to be considered while placing the microphone uh, which are given below you can see the proximity effect so let's discuss about the proximity effect what is the proximity effect this is the point that you need to consider while placing the microphone proximity the literal meaning of the proximity is uh, that uh, it has a relation with the distance about the how far that mic and your source is the proximity the little meaning is that distance from the source and the mic and a mic and the mouth so distance word is the proximity you can say as you move a microphone closer to the source like I have the source, I'm saying hello, hi, testing. So this is the source and this is the mic. So as I move the microphone closer to the source, bass frequencies increase as distance decreases. So when we decrease the distance, the bass frequency will increase. So and it is like vice versa, vice versa, duration, duration indirectly proportional. Bass frequency increases as the distance decreases. So there's an inverse relation in this. This is least apparent with uh, omnidirectional mics, oh, but must be considered carefully with directional mics. Uh, make sure you place your mic far away from the source to avoid hollowing or access based response. This is uh, hollowing, hauling, hauling, sorry, the so word is hauling. Hauling and excessive bass response, this generally comes when we do not uh, follow the proper place of your mic. Uh, so you need to avoid uh, this excessive bass response. So that's why you need to make a proper proximity on this sense. Uh, this mic stand noise and the floor rumble. This is again a very important thing. Any vibrations uh, that Traveling through the mic to a mic stand will transfer through the microphone and into your signal path. Keep cables attached or trapped to prevent them rattling against the mic. Position your mic stand so that it won't transfer vibrations traveling through the floor, foot stomps, kick drums bass amps etc whatever you if you're using the musical you're planning a musical program to place the microphone so that uh, that kick drums and the bass amps are there due to their increased sensitivity uh, use shock mounts when recording with condenser microphone low cut can be used for these situations as well so you can use low cut situations uh, low cut can be used for these situations as uh, well a uh, face uh, issue uh, this is a topic uh, that will be covered more closely in the following topics but uh, here is an important tip uh, when using multiple mics on the same source if you are using a lot of mics in the same source acoustic guitar like drum kits and the other things for the musical program basically musicians use 
roughly translated if microphone uh, is a 7 inch from the source then a microphone B should be at least 3 times at the distance or that you can see 7 into 3 that is 21 inches away from the microphone so you need to maintain a proper distance uh, to avoid the echo and the other noises so if you're using multiple microphones in that case so you need to have a 3 times 3x distance between these microphones so, and uh, uh, this will help uh, prevent face issues created by the time delay and between the microphones and the other one. So coming to the next one that is uh, considerations. Uh, if you talk about the indoor and the outdoor uh, microphone using recording. So these are the considerations that you need. Selection of the microphone depends on the individual requirement. Uh, for a show like KBC, uh, like with the Amitabh Bachchan is sitting on the one side and the contestant is sitting on the other side, the microphone is on the center. So a bi-directional microphone can be used in that. On the one side, Amitabh Bachchan is asking the question and the, on the other side, contestant is sitting there and giving the response and in center there is a mic. So it catches the sound from the both the direction and the center is the mic. Omnidirectional microphones can be used uh, for the chorus. So it catches the uh, sound from the all round home direction. So there's a few microphones uh, that are uh, select, uh, selection and the placement of these microphones for the specific purpose like the news, news, real drama, documentary and talk show. So let's start from the news. Uh, for the news purpose we use the unidirectional microphones or stand mics microphone. Uh, for news real uh, unidirectional microphone. For drama we use bidirectional uh, hanging microphone. For commentary, we use handheld microphone. Uh, for uh, documentary, we use bidirectional microphones. Uh, for phone, phone programs, uh, we use handheld or bidirectional microphone. For interview, again, a bidirectional microphone and the handheld microphone. For field based uh, program, condenser or the dynamic microphone, anything you can use. For the talk show, uh, bidirectional microphones so that can be used. So this was uh, the short about the microphones and all. So I hope you must have got the idea about the microphones on the basis of their constructions, on the basis of the directionality, what to make and what are the uh, specifications that you need to uh, know while carrying the microphones for the types of program that you are choosing to record. So if you like the video, uh, please uh, like, share and subscribe this video. I hope you must have liked this video. So thank you for watching this video. Still, you, if you have any question, doubt regarding this video, you can ask your questions in the comment section. So like, share, subscribe. Uh, this was uh, Rabin Shu Sharma. Thank you so much. Wow.